the people say that uh, the engines, the internal combustion engine, gas and diesel will disappear. And uh, I say, okay, probably, probably, yes. But uh, in the next coming uh, five years, probably the gasoline engines start to disappear dramatically. That's true, gasoline. But diesel is too difficult. They have an special properties, and uh, it's difficult to replace diesel engine. Uh, give me one property why diesel engines are in Vito. Highly, highly, highly efficient. No, a little. It's too much efficient in comparison. You lose like 60 percent. Fuel economy produce a lot of torque with the same amount of fuel in comparison with other engines. Today we are going to check that. The efficient is dramatic. Uh, the torque produced for those engines is incredible. And uh, can you imagine the heavy machinery, the yellow, the yellow machinery, uh, without the diesel engines? That's difficult, that's difficult. The ultra heavy trucks, uh, the ultra heavy yellow equipment for, uh, uh, for uh, construction. Uh, for me, disappear the diesel engines is not, is not in five years, it's not in 10 years, it's not in 15 years. Uh, because they are too efficient. And now is the most interesting part of this conversation. Some people say, no, uh, they should disappear because uh, they contaminate a lot. They are the first producers of uh, pollutants and uh, contaminants in the world. And I said yes and not. Yes, but no, because uh, the diesel engine by itself is, is bad. Yes, because uh, the fuel, the diesel used on those engines in some countries is catastrophic. It's not because the engine, it's because the quality of the fuel. And let me explain one example. I am from Colombia, and some people say, ah, Mr. Lopez, but uh, you see in Colombia, in Ecuador, in Peru, all of those trucks, black smoke, black smoke in the roads. And I say, yes. I see, I see the amount of smoke produced for those trucks in those countries. But uh, hey, my friend, uh, you visit other countries, Europe or the United States? No, no, not yet, okay. You, no, yes, I visit Orlando. I know Mickey Mouse two years ago. Ah, okay, when you visit Orlando in Florida, in the United States, uh, you drive from Miami to Orlando. Oh yes, I drive. I rent a car and I drive. Okay. And you see the trucks in the expressway. You see smog on those trucks? No. And and those trucks are the same. The same Ford, the same the same Dodge, the same the same trucks, the same engines. And why over there in Florida, in the United States, in Europe, zero smog? And here in South America, in Central America, a lot of smoke. Can you explain me? The same engine? The ah, it's the quality of the fuel. Later, in other chapter, I am going to explain the process of refination. From the oil, the petroleum, the process of refination to get fuel, to get diesel. It's a lot of uh, steps, a lot of uh, steps. but. Uh, at the beginning, in the four or five step, you have diesel, but that diesel with too much sulfur, with too much phosphorus, with too much carbon, with too much contaminants. That fuel works, but uh, produce a lot of contamination. Yes, this is the fuel produced in those countries. It's not complete, the process of refination. There are uh, uh, a couple of elements, magic, in the evaluation of the fuels is the amount of sulfur, one of those, and the other one is the amount of carbon. But the sulfur, uh, the country, they have a, one uh, a magic number. In the United States, the amount of sulfur is uh, around 25, 15 parts per million. 
practically nothing. In Europe, 10. In China, 15. Oh, wow. Ah, in Caribbean, 3,500 parts per million. In Venezuela, in Peru, Ecuador, the numbers are pretty similar. I have a chapter dedicated to that in the book. Ah, my friend, it's not because the truck. It's not because the diesel engines. It's because the quality of the fuel. 